Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you this uh, quick little tip that I do in in with ScreenFlow using Photoshop. Um, I'm using ScreenFlow 5. Um, I haven't upgraded to 6. So uh, anyway, what I'm going to show you is how I show my screen without showing that I'm up at 5 a.m. on a Friday and also there's all the icons up here on the top of my my screen um, I could go to full screen but sometimes it's helpful um, to show the menus in reference to where you are and uh, also there's there's just um, I, I like to have you know this this title bar up at the top of some things um, it gets to be a pain if I switch to an app that I have at full screen um, but you know that's that's just something I deal with also I make two of these one of these for the size at uh, when I am using uh, my laptop without an external monitor and one when I have an external monitor so I already have one that's uh, set for when I have my external monitor plugged in and that's a, a 1080p monitor um, so it's it's a different size than the MacBook Pro Retina screen is natively um, so it it's gonna have a different size so what you want to do is set it up and have a couple you know if, if you switch between monitors if you always have the same monitor then you're good uh, just do this once and you're fine so the first thing I do at least on a Mac is uh, command shift 3 and that'll take a screenshot if you're on a PC you got to figure out what your manufacturer does if it's got like a function key and a print screen or whatever it is um, and uh, go ahead and figure that out um, and then I will go into Photoshop and open up from the desktop and as you can see I've done it once before but I didn't like the way it turned out so I'm redoing it um, all right, so now I have in Photoshop, <clears throat> and uh, here's here's a couple of things that I do. Um, first, I will get the uh, marquee electric rectangular marquee tool, and I will just select everything in the menu and the top menu bar all the way over to almost where it says help. And then we're going to crop that so that I'm only dealing with the menu bar. And I want to just turn that off for a second. I want to edit every, all of this away. Um, my time machine, my Bluetooth, my wireless status, uh, my creative cloud, my screen flow, my uh, antivirus and Dropbox and my keyboard and everything I just want everything off including all the way up to the time so well first let me get rid of this bottom well I guess I could just leave that bottom bar so the easiest way the very easiest way depending on your background you know your background may be a little different mine has um, Mine has um, a, uh, let's hide others, and then we'll hide Photoshop. Whoops. Ah, uh, I need to hide, hide, hide everything. I need to go to Finder and then hide others. Okay, so mine has this Hummer in the background. Um, and if I'm on uh, this other desktop, I have the OS X Sierra, or OS Sierra, whatever it's called. Anyway. So um, the top, as you know, on a Mac is always blurry. It's a little blurry. And of course, if you're on Windows, you'll have the taskbar and everything across the bottom. And so your, your setup may be obviously a little different. But anyway, on a Mac, I don't want to show all of these things at the top. So what I'm going to do is um, go into my my background and basically I just want to take this chunk here and I'm just gonna go all the way down to the bottom so I have this even have this line that separates the menu from the rest of the app 
or the rest of the screen. And I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste and it should have pasted on top. So you can see if I move it vertically, that line is moving. Um, and now I want to go to edit because I'm on the layer and I'm going to go to transform and flip horizontal. And then I can drag that to the point where it intersects with where it was. And then I uh, go back to my rectangular marquee tool and I just want to remove everything and I'll just do it on a mask actually. That'll, that'll be helpful. Oops, I wanted to option mask. And now it looks like I'm up at 2 a.m. So we'll go in and remove from that mask. Um, oops, come on you. I want to select the mask. Okay, I had the mask selected, it's my fault. I want to fill that with the white so that it uh, it shows through and there we go now I'm pretty happy with that um, it's it's close to what I'm looking for so there we go all right so now what I want to do is I want to crop this to the edge of where that where that started where the the menu items appear where they stop and so the easiest way to do that is of course grab my my rectangular marquee tool again and come over here and go just past and then we'll go to image and crop and now I've got most of it I'm gonna come down just a little bit let's go zoom in and move that marquee up just a little bit. I want to go right to that black line where the menu stops and the rest of the screen continues. So I'll crop there. And now if I go to layers, turn on my layer again. Look at that. That's pretty good. Okay. So now I have a screen cover for when I'm using um, my full screen with no external monitor and I'm going to save this as uh, let's call it that screen flow menu cover no external monitor and I'll just I'm going to end up replacing the one that I had before wait I don't want it to be a PNG I want it to be a PSD in case I need to modify anything and then we will export command option shift s and i will export that as the png and in this case i'm going to overwrite the one previous there we go all done now all i need to do in screen flow is to go to my uh, audio and video screen Click the Add Media, and I want this top one here, the PNG file. And for example, how that is going to look, if I drag some screen recording onto the desk or onto the the work area, and then I will grab the menu cover, and as you can see. I need to select that and move it into place. So now up there, if I zoom in <clears throat> and go up to that area, you can see that while it is inactive, then you can see the menu behind it and then when I go to a point that has it in place then it's in place let's make sure it's let's make sure it's in the right place it looks like it it should have snapped to the right place just because it's the top corner and 
and it likes to snap to the right all right so there you go that is how i cover all the private in on not all the private information but all the information up here so that you don't see the unnecessary things and get distracted by holy cow this guy's up at five in the morning recording um so that that's my solution uh hopefully uh this helps you hit that subscribe button give me a like comment if this was helpful for you thanks bye